Okay, hey guys, Ryan Productions here, and this is going to be kind of a different video. I am going to be debunking a video called Japanese Hospital Ghost. Well, if you haven't seen it, there will be a link in it in the description. But, um, yeah, you might want to watch it first, but I guess we'll explain it first. So, it's a very disturbing video. And apparently it drove people insane, but that's one of the things that we're going to be debunking. So, the video is like a news crew that is exploring a haunted Japanese hospital. So, when the reporter finds out that they're going to be going inside there, she freaks out. But they end up going in there anyway. Now, there was a guy who, got, who was injured in the building, so and he dropped his camera. And they asked him if he was going to go in there to get it. And and he said he doesn't want to go back in there, like, ever again to get the camera. So they found the camera. And while they were looking through the videos, the reporter looked up. She screamed. She fell to the floor. And that's when they cut the cameras. But they kept filming but they didn't film anything after that live on TV. Well, not even on TV at all. So what happens after that is they ask her what was wrong, and she said that there was someone in the mirror looking at her. So they did some investigating, They and they saw a group of surgeons around a table, and then they hear banging. So they look over to the side, look back at the surgeons, look over to the side, look back at the surgeons, but then when, when they look at the area where the bang is coming from one last time, there's a surgeon holding some dead baby or an organ or something, and that is the part that apparently drove people insane. So I have my friend with me here. He doesn't want his face to be shown, but his voice, say hi. Hi. Yeah, so... We are going to be talking about how this is fake. So we're going to start with the part where in the middle of the video where the reporter fell to the ground and reportedly went insane, they cut the cameras. That wasn't aired on TV. And the part that drove the viewers insane happened after that. The part that drove the viewers insane was the red thing, like the bloody baby or the organ that they were holding in the jump scare at the end of the video. People went insane from seeing that, but no one saw that because they were already caught the cameras and it wasn't on TV. So that's part of it. And also... Okay, so my mom came in to give us chips. So after that, they saw everything. So they cut the cameras. More evidence is if something like this happened, a reporter went insane. She, she committed suicide four days after, or apparently we heard that that's what happened. Hold on. So if something like that happened, she committed suicide four days after that happened. Oh my god, my dog. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it would definitely be on a news story. And you're probably saying, but it was a news story altogether. Well... Yeah, but it would probably be in another news story. because And also, if people went insane, it would definitely be on the news. So that's another thing. And also, I'm going to cut the camera right here so I can Google up the lady. And I can find out her name. And I will see what her job is or was. So, yeah. Okay, guys. I'm sorry, but I couldn't find her full name. All I could find her, her name, her first name is possibly Nahu. But unfortunately, um, the, there's a bunch of not, they were not news articles, but there are a bunch of websites saying that she did commit suicide after. But I don't believe that because all these signs that we've been saying point to it being fake. So, and also, me... So I watched the video, then I showed it to my friend who's with me, who's on the computer searching for her full name, still trying, watched the video, and then my other friend, Armontane, you can check out his channel, 
saw the video, none of us went insane, but according to the video, plenty of people went insane from watching it, which once again, you go insane after seeing the jump scare, which was not aired on TV. So, I will make another video if we do find her full name. So, th I'm just saying that this is 98% fake. So, I will make another video very soon if I do find the name. Okay, so also, in the comments of the original video on YouTube, not the news story, obviously, there was a guy who, I don't know if this guy's watching, but shout out to him if he is. He said he saw this clip in a Korean movie. That puzzles me. It could mean that it's fake, but it also puzzles me because it's called Japanese Hospital Ghost. Everything in this is Japanese except for the subtitles, which are in English. So, it puzzles me, but it could lead to it being fake. So, yeah. I will make a video if I find her name, but for now, that's it. It is probably fake. Bye.